Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's number one English fluency guide, and it is a pleasure to welcome you to another advanced listening practice lesson. Watch this. Oh, pretty cool, huh? I do that with my daughter at home. She likes that. Like I'm flying. Anyway, it's kind of hard to see. I don't have much space. But in this video, what I wanted to talk about is rejection. Rejection, being rejected by something. When, especially if you're a guy and you're trying to approach a nice looking woman and you say, hey, like, would you like to go out? And she says, uh, no. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be rejected. Everybody is going to be rejected. And it's just a fact of life. This is a great phrase. When something is a fact of life, it's just something that everyone will, uh, or I guess it will apply to everyone. Everyone will experience it. It's just something that everyone has to experience. Now, I've been rejected a lot, and it doesn't matter whether you're being rejected by, you know, the person that you're trying to go on a date with, or maybe you're trying to sell something and somebody doesn't buy it, or, you know, there's lots of other reasons why you might be rejected by a particular thing. But in this video, I wanted to explain, just kind of give you a little bit more comfort about being rejected. Now, I talked in a previous video recently uh, where I was talking about working at a sushi restaurant and how you're using an opportunity to, when you make a mistake, it's really an opportunity to learn something. Or when you're rejected by someone in this case, in the, in when talking about this video, uh, you might be feeling a little bit nervous about that. I ask a woman for her number uh, and I say, hey, like, are you, are you like wanting to go out? And she says, no, and I might feel bad about that. But really what you're feeling bad about is the kind of lack of confidence that you have in yourself when you're when you're making an offer to someone. So when you're asking someone for money as a salesman or you're asking for a date or you're trying to do anything, like you talk to your boss and say, hey, I'd like to do something and the person says no to you. Uh, all of these situations, it's more about the confidence you have going into the offer than it is about really the being rejected by something. So we know that everyone will be rejected at some point. And even if you have something fantastic to offer, like you think you're a really great person that maybe that other person should be dating, or you think you have a really great product that you think somebody else will want to purchase, not everybody is going to purchase it. That's just how it happens. But the important thing is when you're thinking about what's the best way to deal with the rejection, so you say something, you present an offer, and then it's not accepted by other people, you don't have to feel bad about that if you've got confidence going in knowing that you have a good offer. So the good offer, again, like we know for sure, like not everyone will accept our offer. Not everyone, you could have the best restaurant in town and there will be some people that still don't like it or some people that don't want to go to that restaurant for whatever reason. But if you know you have a good restaurant and that, you know, there, you can't really please everyone, you can be confident about that. And really it becomes much easier to accept the people that don't accept your offer when that happens. So you're not really being rejected in that case. It's more being like, I guess that person wasn't really a good fit. They were one of those people that probably wouldn't be right for my situation anyway. They might not like my food if I'm a restaurant owner, or you know maybe we don't have good chemistry if I'm trying to ask someone out on a date. <clears throat> But in all of these situations, uh, what you're really doing is beginning with the confidence you have in yourself and thinking like in the case of speaking English, okay, I, I maybe I'm kind of worried about someone not understanding me or maybe they might laugh at me if I say something wrong. Really, I'm confident in my ability just to take action and to get into a situation where I'm happy to have a conversation with people. Even if they laugh at me, either I'm going to just try to learn something from that or I will think, okay, that person is just like, maybe they're just not very cool. I don't need to talk with them anymore. But I won't feel bad about them laughing at me uh, as long as I'm confident about the offer that I'm giving to other people. The, the difficult thing is when you're not confident about what you're offering to people and in that situation, uh, you're in a situation where uh, you, don't, you don't really know if you feel right about something and that's the kind of thing that's much, much harder or much more difficult to take when other people are rejecting you. So if, if I walk up to a girl and I'm kind of like being shy about it, like it's almost like I agree with her that she's rejecting me. And I feel bad about that. So I understand, ah, like, yeah, I, I'm like kind of shy and I can understand why maybe she rejected me. She didn't want to go out on a date with me. But if I come up to a woman and I'm very confident and I say, hey, blah, 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 I'm kind of giving her an offer and saying, would you like to go out? Can I have your phone number? And she just says no. Then I think, oh, okay. 
maybe we just weren't a good fit for each other. But that doesn't mean I'm a bad person or that I don't have something to offer to the right person. <clears throat> So you will have experiences in your life, especially when you're trying to speak English with people, where maybe uh, you would be accepting or trying to offer something to someone, like you're just offering them a conversation or you're saying something, and the response that you get from them, uh, it should not have an effect on you so much if you're already confident about what you're doing. So if my goal is just to open my mouth in a conversation, I don't care if people laugh at me or not. It's just, hey, I got into the conversation. Fantastic. And if people even reject me after that, I don't care. I don't feel bad about that. And then this skill or this ability to feel more confident about something, it develops over time. So if you think about what's the best way to approach people, uh, the really the best way is to have confidence in whatever it is you're offering to people, whether you're selling something uh, or whether you're trying to ask someone for a date or do anything else where you're having to convince somebody else to take action or to do something. So in these situations, be confident about what you're doing. Have a specific goal that you know you're confident about. I just want to open my mouth one time when I'm speaking. I just want to say hello to someone. I just want to get them maybe to say a few words back to me. And even if they laugh or something like that, uh, the real goal is just to do this one particular thing. And even if they reject me, I still feel great because I actually took the action uh, and was able to accomplish something. And that's the thing you really feel confident about. So when you're not confident, when you're not feeling that, and this is something you develop even before you get into the conversation with someone, even before you make an offer, even before you try to sell something. If you have a product and you don't believe in that product, it's going to be very difficult to sell because you have to sell it really to yourself first. You have to accept yourself as a person that would be a great person to date. So if you have no confidence about that, if you think, wow, I'm not really like a very good person to date, then why would anyone else assume that? And that's where the, the rejection comes from. It's almost like uh, the other person is mirroring you. So if they uh, are accepting you, it means you're accepting yourself first. And if you're rejecting yourself, then when other people reject you, you're kind of noticing that much more. So be confident. There's no reason not to be. And you can just decide whatever your specific, uh, maybe I want to, again, just say a few words or I want to just practice selling something to one person, knowing that I have the opportunity to like meet uh, other people and sell them something else in the future or try to practice selling the same thing in a different way in the future. All of these things are going to give you much more confidence because you're deciding before it happens what the rules of the game are. Do I just want to be able to make a conversation and I'm satisfied with that? Do I have to make the sale and I'm, I'm satisfied with that or not? And all these things depend on you first. So think about these things as you're learning to speak more fluently, uh, but for anything else in your life. The rejection that you're getting from people really comes more from how you feel about yourself and you can uh, really decide that before the conversation even begins. Well, that's been uh, it for this lesson. <clears throat> I'm getting like really, uh, really like speaking too much. I've been spending a lot of time in the recording studio today, making lots of lots of great video lessons for you, and I hope you're enjoying them. If you are, do click that like button, become a subscriber to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye. To continue learning, click on the link in this video to download Speak English Naturally, our free guide to speaking and sounding like a native English speaker. The guide reveals the three most important kinds of conversational English you must learn if you want to sound native, and will help you experience instant improvement in your fluency and speaking confidence. To download your free guide on a mobile device, click on the link in the upper right of this video. To download your free guide from a computer, click on the link in the lower right of this video. I look forward to seeing you in the guide.